Comedy Cube. Yo, we need the energy high up in here, all right? We need them big laughs. We need your undivided attention. Give it up for this really funny comedian. You guys are gonna love her. Make some noise for Maxi Whitrack. I just wanted to do that. I'll never be that cool again in my life. <laughs> He's like, that's right. Boy, I am so glad to be here with you guys. It's so exciting to be on. Yeah! Anyone here have a step parent? You don't sound that enthused. I gotta say, I cannot wait to tell my stepmom, Barbara, that I'm practically on TV. <laughs> yeah! Look, her fear that something embarrassing I say about her is gonna end up on TV or the internet is the reason we have such a great relationship. She is so nice to me because she's scared. <laughs> I caught her putting a, a peanut butter spoon that she'd given to the dog into her mouth to finish it off. Ooh, I know, score. <laughs> She's like, are you gonna use this in one of your bits? I'm like, I don't know, am I getting an Easter basket this year? <laughs> she still shows love. I follow her around the house now every time I go home and it's the greatest. It makes her super jumpy that I'm gonna use something she does. I just hold my notebook and watch. <laughs> Last year totally paid off. Didn't get any Barbara material, but did get three homemade birthday cakes. Mwah, I know. God, I love that woman. But then again, I also love anyone who makes me dinner without expecting sex in return. You feel me? <laughs> My boyfriend heard that. He made me dinner and afterwards goes, don't worry, I'm not expecting sex. I'm like, well, I am, pip it. <laughs> get in there. I can see some of you are thinking, the jokes that she dates men, right? That's the joke, that's... <laughs> I get it. Uh, being gay is not a choice, but getting this haircut is. I'm not gay, but some of you are looking at me like, oh, you're clearly into softball. It's a strong assumption to make. A lot of people think I'm Megan Rapino. If you don't know who she is, she's a women's soccer player, which explains why you don't know who she is. <laughs> Yeah, everywhere I go, some places the haircut means I'm gay, some places the haircut means you're over 50. Every place means you're over men. <laughs> it's a universal haircut. I'm trying to take back the haircut, because I didn't know that this was the sign that you hate dick. <laughs> I thought it just meant you need a break, you know? Like those Brazilian steakhouses with the little flipper thing that you say, no, 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 okay, I'm ready for more meat. <laughs> like, Flip it around when you're ready. You guys remember that reality TV show, John and Kate Plus Eight? Yeah. The couple that had eight kids. After the show, Kate got a divorce and this haircut. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, she must be gay now. It's like, no, if I pooped out eight kids, I also wouldn't want a dick near me for a good long time. <laughs> you know, I'm like, mm. I feel like men love to make this haircut gay because it scares them, which is fair. Short hair women, notoriously crazy. A little bit, a little bit. You have to be brave to go to bed with a woman who at some point in her life thought chopping a few inches off would radically improve her life, you know? <laughs> But I'm saying, like, don't let the gay women take over the haircut. They look great in it. I want it too. It's maintenance free. You don't have to not like men to not like men, you know? Lorena Bobbitt chopped off her husband's dick. Being gay was not one of the many things she was accused of. <laughs> My friend Colleen thinks we're all a little bit gay. And it's true. Like, gay or straight, we've all had fantasies about chopping off a man's dick. <laughs> I know, that seems harsh, right? How many of you guys are with a lady that you think is hot tonight? Ye oh, that's gonna be a rough car ride home if you're not more enthusiastic. They're like, woo! <laughs> oh man, I think I'm hot, but I'm definitely not hot enough to get away with how poorly I treat my boyfriend. <laughs> I know, way up for him. 
He goes, look, I give him apology sex all the time. Because <laughs> I can't, don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I'm not that good at saying I'm sorry. Uh, but I am pretty good at saying, yeah, okay, I've got five minutes. Oh, some of these women are way nicer to their guys. Look, I have the most lovely man in the world. I caught him right before all this went down because he and I became exclusive almost immediately. Like everything was shutting down and he couldn't see many people at once because he's, um, what is it? Immunocomprom... Im weak. Easy to catch, easier to keep. It's one of my favorite qualities about him. He's got weak lungs. He tries to break up, I just sit on his chest. <laughs> Till he goes, Uncle! <laughs> I know. Sometimes he'll ask me to get off, and I'm like, okay, hand me the vibrator. <laughs> I made him a promise that I would never fake anything in bed. But ladies, you know, sometimes we have to to make them feel good. Like, uh, one thing I fake all the time is breathing hard. I don't want him to feel bad. I'm into fitness. I teach a spin class of 45 minutes without losing my breath. I think it would freak him out or at least make him feel bad if during sex I went, <sighs> go faster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's very sweet, but he had a rough week because I had a rough week. I view the attraction skill of women from one to 10 to just be the number of crying fits you're able to get away with on period week before he breaks up with you. <laughs> so I'm a four. <laughs> it's very forgiving, because I could be a nine who's just not confident enough to test her boundaries, you know? There's a range. Everything he does on period week sets me off. And it frustrates him, the poor guy, because he's like, well, I just can't do anything right, can I? I'm like, honey, exactly. <laughs> he used my face sunscreen on his body because he's a monster. Let's not forget that. <laughs> I looked it up in the state of California. Unfortunately, it does not meet the requirements for capital punishment. <laughs> but I did call the state's attorney to clarify. I was like, your requirements are mine because I know which one. <laughs> I didn't know there was a wrong way to slice bread until he did it. And I'm watching, I'm trying to be good, I'm trying to be nice to him, I'm trying to hold it inside, I'm like, it's okay, Maxie, there's no right or wrong way to slice bread, you know, everyone's got their own ways of ruining dinner! And boy, close one, am I right? I really pulled myself back. Guys, I'm worried, at some point I'm gonna snap. The newspapers are just gonna say, Maxi Witcherack kills boyfriend in fit of period rage, and the question on everyone's mind is gonna be, she dates men, really? Huh, <laughs> wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> I do try to make it up to him. I wear heels all the time, try to be sexy. I don't like it. They hurt my feet. Anyone else? Yeah, thank you. A couple fellas, I think, answered that. They hurt my feet. It's a weird double standard. Like, I don't know why me limping is supposed to be attractive. What dude ever looked at a Ferrari and was like, you know, it would make this sexier if it couldn't get anywhere as fast. <laughs> Strap some heels on it. Oh, its tires are bleeding. That's hot. Okay. <laughs> I had a boyfriend who loved me in heels, asked me to wear them all the time because he said it made my boobs look perky. I'm like, you know what else does that? A cold breeze. <laughs> Drop me down the freezer aisle, buy me some ice cream. Now we're both happy. Look how this can be a together thing. Or he said it made my butt look tight, you know? It's like, you know what else does? Me holding in a fart. Let's get tacos. Are you catching on how this can be group enjoyment? Date a lot of short guys, which I love, but they always have the same complaint. Women don't find us attractive. No you can't possibly find me attractive. Cause like a tall guy looks at me from the most glorious selfie angle. I look great. Short guy, God only knows that you're seeing when I'm coming down to kiss you. I'm all hunched up, got my chins piled up. I'm like, fee fi fo fum, Kevin, I'm gonna eat your face. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Not very sexy feeling. All my girlfriends are uh, pretty harsh against men. I know, I'm the soft one. 
they're always so unreasonable. They're like, Ugh, men don't get what we go through. Like, they haven't had our experience. They don't get us. It's not like they've ever had a period. Like, hold up, you're complaining that men can't get a period? Thank God men can't get a period. <laughs> Women get a period, they get a little weepy. Men get a period, people would die. You wanna take a killing machine and mess with its hormonal balance? There would be blood in the streets, theirs and ours. Husbands are like, oh, Mary's on her period, watch out. Wives are like, ha, Jim's on his period, run. <laughs> Boy, it's hard. I, um, I love living here in LA because it's always swimsuit season, it's sunny, isn't it gorgeous, you guys? Except for the swimsuit companies seem to be taking advantage. Uh, I don't know if you guys have tried to buy a swimsuit recently. Little scrap of fabric, 90 bucks. Yeah, I went to a store, they're getting outrageous. I was like, I don't need to pay 90 bucks to disappoint my dad. <laughs> And some of them started scamming during all this. You know, they knew we were on Instagram scrolling, so they'd like reach out and be like, hey, if you buy the first swimsuit for 90 bucks, then you can be an ambassador and all of the rest will be free. And I'm looking at that like, dude, only an idiot falls for that twice. <laughs> you guys, I'm Max Wittrack. Thanks so much. Have a good night. This has been a Funny Media Group production.